Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I've got Daisy, and we're going to be working on some impulse control. Now, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to go ahead and place Daisy into a downstay, and the goal here is that I'm going to toss some food around her, and she's not going to break from her position. Now, this is going to be a very difficult exercise for Daisy because Daisy absolutely loves food, but we want to make sure that no matter what is dropped around her, she's not going to break her position after I've already put her in it. So I'm going to toss some food just to get her into position. Hey! Down, yes, stay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start tossing food onto the ground while saying leave it. Daisy, leave it. Yes, good girl. And you see I'm waiting a second just to make sure stay, she's actually staying there. Daisy, leave it. Yes, good girl. Stay, do that again. Daisy, leave it. Yes, good girl, that one was really close. Stay. You see Daisy focusing on the food right here, yes. And I'm encouraging when she's lifting her head and looking at me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up some of the food because it's just as important as Daisy leaving it alone when it's dropped on the floor as it is for me picking it up. We wanna make sure that she's staying in her position and that I'm releasing her, not herself. Stay. See, I'm just gonna pick up a couple pieces. Yes, good girl. Stay. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Stay. Now, if Daisy does go for any of the food on the floor, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cover it with my ah, ah, cover it with my foot. Or in this case, you see, I'm just blocking the food. Unfortunately, she did get one. But when that happens, I'm just going to use the leash. Come on. And put her right back. Daisy. Now, like I said, even though Daisy unfortunately did get one, all I did was take the leash and bring her right back. She's not getting rewarded for breaking, though. I am going to wait a couple seconds for treating her. Stay. And the reason why we wait that couple seconds is because we don't want Daisy to think that if she breaks, she can get food faster. Toss a couple more on the floor. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Stay. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Stay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the food for the last time. So one, two. Tap on the head to release. Okay. And that was a really nice drop from Daisy. Even though she did break once and she did manage to grab a couple pieces of food, you saw how I corrected that. I just used the leash, brought her right back, put her back down, and waited before treating her. Really important that we're waiting just to make sure she doesn't associate breaking with getting food faster. But still, that was a really nice job from Daisy. For the majority of the time that we worked, she stayed down. She was giving nice eye contact. This was a really nice practice session with Daisy. Good job! Good job, Daisy.